What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Forney, Texas and we're getting ready to check out the Agave from Kindred Homes. Now this is a uh, four bedroom, three bath. It sits inside of approximately 2,484 square feet and has a two car garage. So let's go ahead and get on inside. Alrighty, here we go. Man, I'm super excited. So we have, I'll, I will get to it in just a minute. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, this is the view when you do first walk in. Got the nice little foyer right here. Got uh, tons of things happening. But I'll go ahead and turn you around, let you see the front door. Kind of a nice a little foyer and it opens up all the way into the great room, which is super nice because it's kind of broken up a little bit too. Uh, and I, I like that. But we'll go ahead and get into it and then I'll get to what I was going to tell you here in a little bit. Uh, but to the right hand side of the foyer when you do walk in got this nice set of french doors right here that open up into this office space or flex room depending on uh, what you wanted to use it as super big room like that you've got the nice little shiplap accent wall back here or maybe just like some planks you know what i mean not really shiplapping but more of like just some nice big planks get you over here on this side so you can Get a good look at this angle. All right, across the foyer you have several other things happening. You got a bedroom and a full bathroom. This uh, this bedroom sits up towards the front of the house. Probably be a, could be another office if you wanted to. But yeah, so we're almost, we are so close to being done with Texas and we're trying to have enough homes. We're gonna take a month off and kind of hang out uh, back over in the mountains. We're going to go over to Georgia uh, near the Blue Ridge area. But we were three homes shy. And we are like, oh man. You know what I mean? Like, it, we have to call around. You know, you find the different homes so you can tour them and stuff like that. And uh, But as luck would have it, got here into this home and uh, the nice sales lady was like, oh yeah, we got some we got some spec homes too. I was like, oh cool, how many? Four? Well, that's nice. You know what I mean? So uh, that kind of sums it up. Be able to get those last few homes lined up and we are good to go. Anyway, it was just kind of exciting. I wanted to, to share it with you. As far as the, the ins and outs and the, you know, the, the ups and the downs, the exciting things that happen that we feel that are exciting. Uh, when we tour these homes, but anyway at the end of the foyer you uh, come here To the dining room and great room space So nice big dining room space. You do have this little column right here uh, Which is kind of cool because it separates helps separate uh, the dining room from the rest of the home So while it is uh, a nice open concept, it does give you a little bit of division amongst the rooms You know what I mean? So it feels like you're entering a new space and you got this cool accent wall back here too then from there we can get into this nice big living room love I walked in here the fireplace was already on it's like yeah so really nice I love and this this brick surround right here is super cool too because we're so with the brick typically you just see the all white and this is more of a natural brick uh, which looks really cool just adds a little extra pop of color, a little, a little something different. Got the nice big mantle up there and then the hearth. And then on either side, you actually have a little bit of space. So if you wanted to do uh, some different decorations or maybe get leave the spot above the mantle open, get one of those kind of uh, extendable TV stands over here off the side. But then from there on the back side of the living room, you've got this kitchen, great big island. Let's see, no storage on the front. I have to check now, you never know, you know what I mean? But uh, I love this dark color too. Looks really good. On this side, you've got the dishwasher, nice undermount sink, looking into the living room itself. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. And then let's see, 
got another outlet on the far side. And then on the back side, you got like a little buffet area. Nice tile backsplash, I love this. We're gonna get a better look at it here in, a little, in just a second. A little herringbone pattern uh, over by the stove as well. Now the cabinets don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling, so if you wanted to do a little bit of decorating, you know, you definitely could do that. Got the refrigerator, built in a microwave and oven. And we'll get into some of these cabinets. Now this is a fun range hood. Kind of comes out, matches the cabinets a little bit. Looks pretty cool. You've got the gas range. And then plenty of cabinets. Now there's a door back behind us. I don't want to get too off track here. Could, that could be the pantry. I'm not sure. We'll see that in just a minute. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go over here to the left-hand side of the kitchen. You got a little hall tree, little drop zone. Kick off your shoes. All the way at the back, you got washer and dryer hookups here in the laundry room. Nice wood shelf. And then you got a little bit of extra space. I'm not sure if you could really fit a freezer in here. Maybe you could, like a smaller freezer. And then into, this is the three car garage. There's a kind of like their construction setup right now going on, but you would have three different stalls. All right, then we'll get into all this stuff over here, see what it is. I, I'm thinking this is a pantry, yeah, for sure. It's a nice little pantry off the kitchen. You got your morning room, kind of less formal dining room. You put a little uh, or a bigger table over here if you wanted to uh, for those, you know, those TV dinner nights. And then we'll go ahead and hop outside real quick, check out the back side of this home. Let's see, there we go. <laughs> it's all, I always lock it and unlock it and I never know what's happening around here. But nice covered patio, there's tons of room. It just wraps around a little bit, it looks pretty neat. You can put tons of stuff out here. And then we'll go ahead and back up a little bit, testing out, I'm, I'm still, today's still the first day, I'm not real sure. Uh, how we're gonna do with this, if everybody's gonna like it or not, uh, but this is the back side of the home. I like it because it just, it doesn't waste any time, you know what I mean? We can see the front, we can see the specs, and then we get straight into the home and we just catch it as we're going through it. And it makes it the process way faster. <laughs> but, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Let me, maybe you've already seen a home that we've done it like this. Uh, if you have, and you like it, let me know. Uh, if you have and you haven't, you know, let me know. If you haven't, well, hopefully you like it. Anyway, all right, this one got us. <laughs> uh, we stumbled into the master bedroom. I think there's a couple more bedrooms down that little hallway, but uh, this master bedroom, it's a good size. Sits on the back side of the home. This is what happens when you don't look at floor plans. And you just kind of go with the flow, you know what I mean? But uh, this is cool. You got the double doors that lead into the bathroom. You got a big old double vanity right here. The vanity lights. Nice soaking tub. Is this like a jacuzzi tub? No, but it's got these cool little armrest things, I guess, on the side. There's one on either side. I haven't seen, I haven't seen that before. If you've seen that, let me know. Maybe they're like hand holds so you can like push yourself up maybe that could be a thing then into the shower got the shower head tile surround nice big bench and then this one's just got a little step up uh, it doesn't drop down like what we've been seeing here in in texas back you up a little bit you also have a water closet with the toilet see the room a little bit in there and then all the way at the back uh, of the bathroom is the closet. So nice big master closet. Then we can go explore this hallway down here and see what else it has to offer. I like that it kind of wraps around a little bit. That's pretty neat. Ooh, there's another, I guess this is 
be like a linen closet as you work here down towards the secondary bedrooms. But you've got another bathroom with the double vanities and the vanity lights, toilet, shower and tub combo. Like tile, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling, but it is tiled, so that's very nice. And then into the first of the two bedrooms back here, to the side of the house, kind of back behind the garage. Ooh, nice big step-ins, some furry stools. Then all the way at the end of the hallway, you come to the final bedroom. Another nice big window in here, some more fun little stools. And then let's see, a little step-in closet right here, not really a walk-in like the last one. Maybe I called the last one a step-in, but <laughs> either way. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Kindred Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. Filter based off of price, square footage, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, layout, type of home, all different types of stuff, and all of that is 100% free especially for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.